we are heading to Washington, Washington. DC. And I'm taking my brother with me and his girlfriend. <laughs> so we are here at Billy Bishop Airport in downtown Toronto. They've never flown with my airline before, with Porter Airlines. Uh, I'm gonna show them the ropes and show them the benefits of having a sister who is a flight attendant. The first thing we're gonna do is we're actually gonna board this ferry. Are you excited, Tommy? Yeah. Donna? Yeah. So at Billy Bishop Toronto Airport, there are two ways to get to the actual island. You can take a ferry or you can take the tunnel. Normally I would take the tunnel, but since this is their first time traveling with me, they really want to take the ferry. But guys, Tommy, I recommend you coming this end because then you get to see like the CN Tower. They're little children in a candy store. They're so excited. And they're just literally waving at themselves. That's just their reflection on the other side. <laughs> and Donna hanging out in the lounge. They're enjoying all the amenities of complimentary coffee, tea, snacks, beverages over there. Like I mentioned earlier, I am a flight attendant and part of the perks is being able to bring my brother and his girlfriend on a last minute trip to Washington. Now the only negative thing about that is waiting on standby. So we just found out that we actually got our boarding passes. Passengers in the lounge awaiting flight 725 with service to Washington, Dulles. The inbound aircraft is just a little bit late on arrival. Here okay. Currently. We got our boarding passes, so we're still on standby technically because someone may buy a last minute ticket to Washington and they would technically bump me out of my seat. So every time the PA comes on, I'm thinking that they're gonna call my name to say, oh, sorry, we gave your seat away. So we're gonna fly standby to Washington. That means also we booked last minute accommodations. So Tommy's booking us an Airbnb as he's getting ready. <laughs> Guess where we're on? We made it to Washington, Washington. DC. We got an Airbnb and we're gonna go check ourselves in. Welcome to my house. Got a nice little. I put them to a bed. Yeah, it's a sofa. That's where you're sleeping on. Nice. You're sleeping on the sofa bed, and Donna and I are getting this bed. <laughs> We are going to be having a very, very touristy day today. We're going to walk around all over National Ball, head over to some museums, check out the White House, the monuments, hopefully be able to see a show tonight. We're going to head over to the National Theater and see if they have any leftover tickets, rush tickets, lottery tickets, or whatever, so we can see Mean Girls tonight. I did not know that they were here, so I'm really excited for that. So we're going to take you on a day on a very touristy day, and uh, hopefully you get to learn some stuff and some history about Washington, D.C. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> on the way! We can share the hot sauce, okay? We found a little local place called the Lincoln Waffle House. So of course we got waffles and we got some chicken to get involved. But the way that we're being sat is kind of like, I feel like I'm back on a cruise ship with a bunch of strangers having a big thing. So um, you're gonna meet some strangers here. There we go. <laughs> They're locals. He ate his food really quickly. Yeah. And we got a group of Miami people over there in the corner. And then our <laughs> some... Yeah. I feel like I'm on the prices right. <laughs> what do you guys think of the Lincoln waffle? It was good. It was good? Too bad. Awesome. It was awesome? So good. They were so good. They were so efficient and so much fun. It was like, honestly, I'd rather go there, like Tommy said, than to some fancy, fancy breakfast restaurant. And I do recommend you checking out the Lincoln Waffle House. And down the street on 10th Street, we're heading over to the Smithsonian. I can't say that word. How do you say it? Smithsonian. <laughs> I think so, for sure. This is the Natural History Museum. We were gonna go in it, but then we saw this lineup and we decided, hey, you know what, I got time for that. Yeah? We've been walking for 20 minutes and this line is still going. Look where we're at. Oh, and we're also doing a mini photo shoot with my brother being an Instagram boyfriend. We're at the monument. Yeah. We wanted a closer look. Get out! I'm recording! Stop kissing in front of my videos! <laughs> we finally got closer. 
Oh, we can see Capitol Hill over there. African American Museum. Got lots and lots. Look at this. Look how tall this is. It's tall. It's so picturesque. I don't know if this video does this justice, but it's absolutely gorgeous. So we walked from all the way there to the Lincoln Memorial. Oh my god, it's getting so crowded. As you can see, it's behind me. Oh my god, it's huge! Look at this. There's so many people here taking pictures and selfies, ourselves included. Tommy, what are you reading? speech. There's like a bunch of people here. I thought it was because they wanted to take a picture of this Christmas tree, but it's actually because the South Lawn is right behind us. Okay, we made it to the National Theater here. This is the moment of truth. I am crossing my fingers that they have some secret tickets available, but ugh. So they had two tickets left and we need three. They said that if we come back, there's a lottery tonight. So maybe, Maybe I'll win the lottery and get tickets. I'm crossing my fingers. But if we do the lottery, they said that, okay, we come back, put our names in a hat. If our names get picked, uh, then we can get tickets for $25, which is a huge win if that happens. So I'm hoping that on a Saturday night and Thanksgiving weekend, no one's gonna be here. That's what I'm crossing my fingers. That it's just us. Yeah. Isn't it pretty, even though there's a crane in the way? Okay, there's a few things you can do. We can go into this now before they close. Yes. And then go to Capitol. Yes. Or go to Capitol and then do this. Okay. Museum. This first and then Capitol. Well, this first, this first. Yes. Okay. We made it to the National Air and Space Museum. We want to do the simulator, so we're gonna go find it. That's so cool. Look at this. Oh my gosh. We just finished the virtual reality and the flight simulator. Let me tell you, if you come to the National Air and Space Museum, do not do the virtual reality. It sucked, but the flight simulator was so good. Bye, DJ, say bye. Thank you. <laughs> the flight simulator was actually so much fun. We're gonna go see our pictures now. Like, no, this looks like you're upside down. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm dying. Oh, this is so good. But for the simulator ride, what happens is there's a pilot and then there's like a shooter. So we just end up being like upside down 90% of the time because I don't know how to fly a plane. And so you're supposed to like shoot and throw missiles to all these other planes that's happening. Tommy and Donna got five kills. I apparently had one. I don't even know how that even happened because I didn't even know what I was doing. But that was actually a lot of fun. It was like an amusement park, right? Really, really good. So if you ever come to here, definitely, definitely opt in to do the flight simulator, but don't do the virtual reality, which is actually a bit more expensive. I'm much more interested in space than air, so we beelined to this exhibit where we get to learn more about the planets. Whoa. Some footage from Mars. We spent a lot of time in the simulator, so we don't actually have time to check out everything in the museum. Uh, but thank God this museum is free, so I can come back anytime and actually take my time in exploring everything. The last touristy thing we're going to do today, the last day of our trip, is we're going to see the Capitol building, which I think is a lot prettier than the White House. We're trying to get a little bit closer because Donna wants to get some pictures in front of it but it's really, really dark out and it's not really that well lit. You can kind of see that it's really dark. I'm trying to brighten it up, but it's, it's not happening. It is really pretty though. We're back at the National Theater. We want to see Mean Girls. This is my first time ever doing a lottery for a play. And I'm really nervous and I hope we get it. There's quite a few people here. This is all the people waiting for the lottery. <laughs> Our names are in. There's only 20 tickets available, so 10 pairs. Tommy's, uh, the ladies, my cousin, Nelson, and I'm back again. 
Yes, me. Yeah! No way! <laughs> you guys! We got a mini performance from some kid named Ian. That's what you just saw. We got the lottery tickets, and then we got an extra ticket, and now we can see you guys. Okay, I'm calming down. This is amazing. <laughs> We just realized that we're front row. The orchestra pit is right there, and that's where the stage is. Oh my god! <laughs> Honestly, that was so good. Donna, what'd you think? It was really good. It was actually really good. I'm so glad that we got to finally see Mean Girls and we got so lucky with the tickets. Like it's coming out to Broadway really soon, so you guys should check it out when it's in there in New York. But honestly, music was good, so funny. I couldn't stop dancing. And if you love the movie, you will definitely, definitely, definitely love this musical. To end the day of this extremely long but extremely fun touristy day, we found a place called the Old Albert Grill. Oh, you know, good, good, good. good. Yeah, just good. vlogging, say hi. Uh, yeah. This day just got better. So they're known for their oysters, which is why we're here. And it's like, you know, they're a bit, they're a bit pricey, so we weren't too sure we were just gonna get a half dozen. And then our amazing server tells us that it's happy hour, so all their oysters are half price. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna get a dozen. And I'm probably gonna try this lobster shepherd's pie. How are you guys feeling? It's good. Yeah. The, trip is, the trip is short, but perfection. We literally made every minute count on this trip and we enjoyed everything that we were doing so I cannot wait to try these oysters. Wow, look at these oysters. We got two of everything. Do I know which one is which? No, I don't. <laughs> it's so big. Oh wow! Thank you. Do you remember earlier in the night I showed you some random kid like tap dancing for us? <laughs> we did a little bit more research because there were people sitting behind me who were asking me who this little kid was that I was talking to and making friends with. But we soon found out that it was Ian Armitage. Totally butchered that last name, but Ian plays little young Sheldon. He is a really young theater critic on top of him playing the role as young Sheldon on the titled show. That was pretty cool that we got a little, little mini preview show of little Ian tap dancing. So we have about six hours to sleep and then get up really early in the morning to catch our flight home. Can't believe it's our last day. You can tell we're very, very exhausted. Uh, we're now waiting in line to grab our tickets and board our plane and head back home to Toronto. That is pretty much everything that I can tell you on what to do in Washington if you only have like 24 hours here. Anything else you want to say about the trip? It was good. Okay. I liked it a lot. It was a lot of fun. It was very, very tiring. But thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and uh, subscribe. Subscribe. Yeah! If you like it, though. Even if you don't, just like, just like it. Yeah, thanks. <laughs>